you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my youtube channel you guys in today's video i'm going to share all about my homeschooling strengths and weaknesses so you guys i was very excited when rachel from seven and all she reached out to me to be a part of this collab where we are going to be sharing all about our homeschooling strengths and our weaknesses rachel you guys from seven and all i definitely feel I uh, love watching her channel and watching her perspective, especially because she is a second generation homeschooler. And she actually is starting up the process of homeschooling her two sons who are four and two. Uh, Rachel, you guys, she definitely has a unique perspective when it comes to the homeschooling community. And one thing that's really unique is that she actually is still helping homeschool her siblings who are in the sixth and the 11th grade. I am also collabing with Rachel Rachel from our homeschool plan. Rachel, you guys, she is a veteran homeschooler of 11 years. She actually is homeschooling her third, sixth, and 10th grade of this homeschooling year. So if you guys need any inspiration, especially when it comes to like high school, she is definitely the channel to go to. I love watching her videos. She is definitely very funny. And I love just hearing her homeschooling journey and her homeschool experience, especially because she has way more years in this than I do. <laughs> so if you are coming from either uh, Rachel from our homeschool plans channel or Rachel from seven and all, Hi, I am Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls ages 10, 4, and 2. We have been homeschooling now for three years, so we are officially pandemic homeschoolers. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my homeschooling strengths and weaknesses. I think I'm going to go ahead and start by sharing some of my weaknesses as a homeschooling mom. Um, I'm just going to have like a little chit chat with you guys, and we're just going to talk about this. So you guys, uh, when it comes to homeschooling and my homeschool weaknesses, uh, specifically subjects wise goes, I definitely feel like my weaker subjects are reading, writing, and history. So uh, I know for sure those subjects, when I do get to teaching them in my homeschool, I definitely take avenues of outsourcing those just because I wanna make sure I give my kiddos uh, the very best that I can. I put my foot, my best foot forward when it comes to those particular subjects, because I know um, that's just my weakness, you guys. And um, one thing I will say is this year, we actually have outsourced writing for my fifth grader, Brielle. She actually is doing IEW structure and style level 1A for that very reason. Um, I feel like when it came to the basis of teaching her how to write sentences and paragraphs, you know, I was good to go. But now that we are getting really into formal writing, essay writing, all those different types of things, I definitely needed something that could really hold my hand. So that is why I really decided to go ahead and outsource that particular curriculum for her because I know it's not really my strength and I really am okay with that because I definitely wanna make sure uh, she benefits and she gets the best that she can in that particular subject. Uh, another subject I definitely uh, make sure that I do a lot of research when it comes to is history. You guys, my history class growing up was always boring. Um, I was in public school and you know, you guys, we just had those big fat textbooks where we would just read them and answer questions and history has never really been my favorite subject. But as a homeschooling mom, I do have to teach history and I definitely make sure I I do my best to uh, give my daughter a well-rounded history. We definitely pull from a lot of sources. We use a lot of living books when it comes to history because I'm relearning that subject as well. And I definitely want to make it fun. I don't want my kiddos to have the same experience when it came to history as I did. And uh, another one of my weaker subjects definitely has been reading. I'm so nervous. And I think all homeschooling parents are nervous when it comes to teaching their kiddos how to read. I have a four-year-old, you guys, she's an emergent reader. I definitely know next year when we get into kindergarten, I am going to be teaching her how to read. And I'm so nervous just because of my past experience when it came to like reading. I actually didn't learn how to read fluently until the age of 10. Uh, when I was in elementary school, I was always in remedial uh, reading. I was always pulled out of class when it came to when it came time for like language arts and reading. And you guys, that was really embarrassing as you know, growing up as a kiddo being pulled out of my you know main classroom uh, to go to like special reading. Um, I'm not too sure if I did have this 
or undiagnosed dyslexia. Um, I know I did have a few challenges when it came to uh, my sight. Uh, they didn't know I needed glasses until uh, a while into like, I think it was like my second grade year is when they finally knew that I needed glasses. They told my mom and I finally was able to get glasses. But by the time I got glasses, I really got, you know, far behind in my reading. And uh, it was just really a downhill spiral when it came to like me learning how to read. Um, I really didn't solidify those reading foundation skills until my grandmother, who was a formal educator, she actually came down from uh, New Jersey to Georgia and she was down here for the whole summer. And the whole summer, you guys, she was able to teach me the basics of, of like phonics and the foundations of reading. And she definitely was able to give me a head start when it came to reading. And if it wasn't for her, you guys, I really don't know where I would have been as far as like my reading goals. But after that summer, you guys, I became a proficient reader and a confident reader. And uh, after that point, you guys, I was just flying. Uh, but I definitely will say because of my personal experience, when it comes to reading, I am really, really nervous about teaching my uh, daughter how to read. However, you guys, I'm definitely going to make sure like I have a curriculum that's gonna hold my hand when it comes to reading like I don't want to make any mistakes I want it to be scripted I want to just be able to follow step by step and if my kiddos do have issues uh struggling readers dyslexia I definitely want to make sure I am able to give them the tools they need to become you know good strong confident readers so um, another one of my weaknesses is just overall in my homeschool, I should say, is I have a problem with making sure I schedule out like field trips and all like the fun things. Like last year, you guys, we only went to the zoo and we also went to the pumpkin patch. So we only did like two uh, like field trips. We went to the pumpkin patch because we actually did purely preschool, which is a preschool curriculum created by Rachel. Um, we actually did her fog unit and when we got to the pumpkins we went to the pumpkin patch it was so much fun it really solidified all the things we were learning that week in our preschool unit last year so that was like the only thing we did so that was technically for my uh, preschooler and then uh, for Brielle the only thing we did was we went to the zoo because she was learning all about like mammals and animals and things like that in her science curriculum we did like a lot of life science last year so that was all we did so I definitely know I want to put my best foot forward this year in finding a lot of field trips trips you guys uh here our library they offer so many like free tickets to like museums and we get free tickets to the zoo every single year and um, I definitely want to make sure I utilize those free resources that my library provides and make sure like I do a better job at doing like the field trips uh, with my kiddos. So you guys, as far as my strengths goes, as far as the subjects, I'm definitely very strong in science and math. And <laughs> of course, everyone uh, that's uh, typically not good like in that reading history, always math and science is always their strongest. I think I just lean more towards that like logical side. Um, I love math. I love science. I can't cannot wait you guys to teach Brielle chemistry uh, her learning like the periodic table I can't wait to do like all the experiments and things like uh, that with her uh, in the upcoming years I definitely think she's going to like have a lot of fun when it comes to that and she seems to like science as well math not so much um, I'm really happy that it is the opposite where I can really help her in a subject that she's not um, that strong in and it really uh, is great that I'm very confident when it comes to that particular subject another one of my strengths you guys is definitely when it comes to like notebooking uh brielle had a lot of fun our past couple of years uh doing interactive notebooks and a lot of times you guys i was just pulling uh things from pinterest i was pulling free uh printables from teachers pay teachers and we were just really creating these fun interactive notebooks and they are definitely like keepsakes that hopefully i can hold on to for a while when it comes to like us doing different things like our science and things like that uh brielle really had a lot of fun creating those interactive notebooks um i'm definitely very crafty when it comes to like like our projects and just coming off with things like just from the top of my head we did like a lot of big projects uh last year when it came to like our homeschool a lot of hands-on things and i'm really 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 good at like art and crafts and all that type of stuff uh um, last strength i do want to talk about is one that brielle she mentioned to me to add into this video and she told me mommy i really feel like you are very organized and i think i am i think i'm pretty organized and um that's one of her strengths she definitely wanted me to mention in today's video so you guys these are like all of my strengths and weaknesses when it comes to me being like a homeschooling mom um 
just different areas I know that I need to work on and uh, things that I know I need to outsource when it comes to subjects. Uh, as a homeschooling mom, you know, we are not everything. And that is the beauty of homeschooling is that we can, you know, pull in tutors and pull in things when we need them. So you guys, please don't forget to check out Rachel from our homeschool plan and Rachel from Seven Dollars video where they're gonna be sharing their strengths and their weaknesses. I cannot wait to watch their videos as well. Thank you guys for watching. I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.